If you are looking for the ultimate formula on how to create happiness and fulfillment in any aspect of your life, then this is the video. Stay with me. Hi, I'm Shri Sripali and this is the Success with Srini YouTube channel. And this question, is there an ultimate formula for creating happiness and fulfillment has been around since, since our evolution. And this is going to probably be there till we all of us are gone from here. So, as a student of success, I have studied a few books and, and I've consulted with a few philosophers, few mentors, few trainers. And no matter who I spoke to, everybody had a formula. And all those formulas were valid. And each formula was unique and different. If you go and talk to random people on the street and ask them, what's the secret to success? No two answers are going to be the same. So the more we try to find the answer, the more the question becomes deeper. So it became deeper for me also till I came across an incredible three-step formula that was put forward nearly 2300 years ago by the Greek philosopher Aristotle. He said there are three steps to success, joy, happiness, fulfillment. Step number one, he says, you got to have a definitive, clear, and a practical idea, objective, or a goal. Once you have a definitive, clear, practical idea, goal, or an objective, then you need to have four more things. So step number two is four things. Money, wisdom, materials, and methods. Money, wisdom, materials, and methods. Step number three is you keep on changing step number two till you get to the outcome. When I first heard this story nearly 20 years ago, I was struggling to find out what is the definitive goal? What is clear objective? How do we have clear objectives when you are 20 years old, 25 years old, 30 years old? Uh, when I was 20 years old, I thought I had a clear objective till I you know, uh, was 25 and 30 and, and started to realize that after all, this is not the objective I had 10 years ago. Then when I was 40 years old, I was like, maybe I don't even know where this is all going. So. How can you have a definitive and a clear objective to begin with? But if you study successful people, they do. And once they achieve that one idea or one goal, then they go and create much more bigger and higher goals. Their objectives keep changing once they accomplish a few along the way. So once they lock in an objective, once they lock in an idea, uh, they just go around and looking for wisdom, knowledge, materials, methods, and and they are in that zone, hustling it out. I have gone through that myself in numerous different ad adventures I had for myself in business and personal life everywhere. And now after 20 years, I start, this formula is actually printed and it's on my wall. Every day in the morning I wake up, I look at it and say, okay, what method I'm going to acquire today? What materials are now not effective anymore. They were effective yesterday or a month ago or a year ago and no more effective today. And they have become defunct. What do I change? How do I change? In fact, today as I'm recording this, this is a new camera. First time. The other videos were done with older camera. This is a new camera. It's a new material that I'm using as to record today's video. Constantly, I'm thinking every day in the morning that I wake up, I said, okay, what do I need to change? And I'm always looking for some new methods that can improve and can take me to my goal. Improve my situation, take me to the goal. This formula, if I say, had changed my life, is an understatement. I want you to take a moment today and I want you to look into everything that you have got going. The first and the foremost is that the goals that you have set for yourself are the definitive. Are they clear? Are they practical? Can you achieve them? It's a question you have to ask. Now, once you figure that out, step number one is clear. Step number two, take your time. Sometimes two years, three years, four years, five years, depends. But then it's worth playing, you know, that timeline. 
four, three, four, five, ten years, whatever the timeline is, as long as you know that step number one is clear to you. And you know that once you achieve step number one, it's going to set you free, it gives you the freedom, gives you the autonomy, whatever, whatever the end outcome is, you know it's it's worth going after that outcome. I hope today's video is helpful. If I go anywhere beyond this point, then I'll sound repetitive. If you like this video, if you have an idea, you have a comment, by all means, please, please post it below this video. I'm going to personally respond to your comment. And please subscribe, please, uh, please like the video, subscribe and all that. Um, I'll be back here again as early as tomorrow. So stay tuned and thank you for stopping by.